Hello you guys, welcome to a new vlog. It's been a little while since I vlogged last and I'm starting off this vlog with a new camera. I haven't exactly figured out like all the settings and everything like that. So hopefully I'll figure it out a little more and this is like, okay. I haven't switched over my microphone yet, but I am um, gonna do that. My microphone actually should be coming in like really soon, like maybe even today or tomorrow. So I'll try to switch over to that soon. Maybe not in this vlog, we'll see maybe the next vlog. Also my new viewfinder, which is like where I can see myself, like see what's in the frame and like see if I'm in focus and things like that is over to the right side of the lens. It's on the side versus before. Actually for the past eight years, my viewfinder has been above. It flipped up like this but this camera is different and it's out to the side. So if you see me looking over kind of to more to this side instead of here and you know, however many next videos, just know I'm trying to adjust to that and stare at the lens, but it's a little bit of a weird flip than before. Anyway, welcome back to another vlog. Today's Friday afternoon, so I'm kind of starting like a weekend vlog. I'm about to go grocery shopping and pick up some things. So I wanted to start the vlog and I think that's really about it. We're gonna go grocery shopping, come back. I am gonna try to bake a loaf of bread tonight. So I wanted to see how that goes on the vlog because I'm, I'm gonna try out a new recipe. So we'll do that a little bit later tonight. Have a little bit of a baking moment. Today, I think I'll go to probably Winco and Trader Joe's, which is what I usually do, I guess, on the vlogs. Um, they're right by each other anyway, so I need a couple things, more than a couple things, I need things from both places, so I think that will be a good lineup for today. But I'm so excited to be vlogging for you guys, it's actually been a while since my last vlog, I ended it almost two weeks ago, and I didn't upload it for like over a week after that, so it's actually been a while since I talked to my camera, but I'm really excited for my new camera. I've arrived at Winco. I just left Trader Joe's, I didn't film there, but when do I ever? I got some mini carnations. These are actually the flowers I have right now already, but it's been like almost a week and I can tell they're starting to kind of be on their last. So I figured before they die, why not just like add some more to my bouquet and kind of spruce it up a little bit. I will say with this camera, I thought that the um, lens was gonna be more wide angle. That's what I read online was that it like already was the, the lens that it comes with was already like more wide angled, but I think it's like pretty much, I think it's pretty much the same as my one before. Um, I do feel like the quality is better. I don't know if it's just like the colors or what, but I feel like it does just look like I'm filming on like a DSLR, which I guess I am. This is like a big, a much bigger camera. It's probably like double the size than my previous one, so it won't really fit in my tiny purses, but someone's staring at me, I have to go. All right guys, I'm home now. It got late fast today. I'm like, where the hell did the day go? It's like 6.30 right now. So it's pretty much dinner time, so I'm gonna figure out what I wanna eat after I give you guys my grocery haul. I'll start with my stuff from Trader Joe's. I think this is all, yeah, this is all from there. I got some lemons and green apples. I really didn't need like that much produce. We have a good amount of like veggies and stuff like that. So just kind of got that stuff today. Chili and garlic cashews. These are one of my favorite snacks and I'm about to be out of the ones that I have. These are really, really good. They are pretty spicy. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but they do have a kick. I restocked some Cliff Bars because I've been eating these a lot. So I got some there as well as actually some at uh, Winco because they have different kinds of Cliff Bars. Some raspberries and mixed berries for smoothies. Some sugar snap peas and this was kind of random but some, I don't want to say it wrong. Shishito peppers. Tell me that was right. I actually had these as a side dish at a restaurant the other week and they were really good and they weren't like, I guess I've never had them or like never can remember having them. And I saw them at Trader Joe's and was like, I'll try to make them um, as a little side. So I might get, some, I might make some of these tonight. I don't really know if I'm gonna have like an easy dinner or cook something. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I am getting hungry. Um, some little mini pizzas just for like an air fryer, you know, quick bite appetizer, some juice, orange, peach, mango, four things of wine I stocked up and I'm trying out some new wines. I have never tried this one before, 
Uh, and then I've also never tried this one. And honestly, this one, the packaging, I just feel like it sold me. And I haven't bought a Sauve Blanc in forever. It's not necessarily like one of my, I like Sauve Blanc, but it's not one of my like top, top favorites. But I thought I would give it another shot because I haven't had it in a while. And then I just got Rosé and a Chinon Blanc. Um, also got some hemp protein powder. I wanted to get vanilla protein powder because I only have a chocolate one and I've kind of been making a lot of like protein smoothies when I get home from working out. Um, so I thought I would try that one out. And then this it probably needs to go in the freezer, but it is okie dokie. Sorry, that doesn't want to focus. <laughs> Oat milk non-dairy frozen dessert. I think it's just like a vanilla and caramel so we'll see if that's good probably gonna try that out one of these next few nights some spicy hummus one of my favorites to have just for quick snacks and dipping into like pretzels and um carrots and stuff i found my everyday seasoning i couldn't find this the last time i went to trader joe's for some weird reason i honestly have a feeling it was there and it was just one of those days where i like wasn't looking in the right place for it so i restocked that because i'm about to be out of this and then I got some garbanzo beans and a can of corn just to have these as pantry staples. I like to just stock up on like stuff that lasts forever in the pantry when I use something. Like I use my garbanzo beans the other week, so just keep stuff stocked. I got a low sodium veggie broth. We don't have any veggie broth, just chicken broth. And um, I think it would be good to just have that on hand for certain recipes. And then I did get some chicken. I got some chicken tenders and chicken breast too. And then I got breakfast sausage. I don't normally buy this, but Jared kind of likes to have like sausage and more like meat for breakfast. So I thought that we could try these out. Unexpected cheddar cheese. I really like this and I haven't bought in a while. Um, this is really fun for just like a little cheese board crackers and then I got a mozzarella log I've been making a lot of like pastas and stuff lately and things that kind of call for mozzarella so I figured I would just have one uh, in the fridge and I, it's already actually sliced so I can just kind of throw that on there and mix it in with stuff or make like a caprese salad that would be really good too hi I know we're gonna have your dinner in just a couple minutes okay you've been so patient and that is all for the Trader Joe's side. Now let's go to the Winco side, except I actually got a couple of these things <laughs> still at Trader Joe's. The flowers that I showed you guys, which here's the ones that I have now, beautiful, but I think that will just kind of add even more beauty to my bouquet. Um, restocked some dry dog food for Squirtle because he's almost out of that. He does eat wet food, but um, I mix a little bit of that in with his food and he really likes it. Um, I also went to the liquor store on the way home and grabbed some Tito's because I'm running low. I haven't bought it in a while, but like I said, I just like to replace my stuff that gets low. Same thing with this. We just about ran out of this. Jared likes juices and stuff like that. So the Cran Raspberry is what I get, like the big one, and it lasts quite a while in our fridge. And then he also is a stan for Mr. Dr. Pepper. So I got him. This was literally his one request from the grocery store. And these were kind of random impulse buy, but I've had these before. These, um, I always say it wrong. I don't know why I just like say it wrong. So I'm not going to because I always get a lot of comments when I say things wrong correcting me. So I'm just not even, <laughs> I'm just not even going to try. I got you guys a freaking Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. Yes, I already have a Chick-fil-A sauce, but I've recently been in a love affair with the Polynesian sauce, which is interesting because it used to be my favorite when I was younger, like when I was a kid and I was a teenager, and then I switched over to Chick-fil-A sauce was my total fave. Still like this one, but I like never ate it. And now I think this one might be my favorite again, although I do love Chick-fil-A sauce. So I love that you can just buy it at the grocery store. If you guys didn't know that, they have it at most grocery stores now. And then I got a ketchup because we were out. I tried to get the Trader Joe's truffle ketchup and they told me it was a winter item and they don't have it anymore, even though I'm like, isn't it still winter? But she said they probably won't have it until literally like October or November. So fuck my life. I just got a regular basic ketchup. Um, I went to the bulk section. I just got a couple things. Some red chili flakes. 
This does not look the same as the red pepper flakes that I have though, which is what I got at True Place, but they didn't have anything else. This looked the closest, but I think it's like a similar flavor. This whole thing was like 25 cents to refill my whole spice jar instead of just buying a new one. So love that. Some more Cliff Bars, everything bagels, two zucchinis, which I literally never buy zucchini. It's one of those like, you know those vegetables that you never buy and you never eat and you never cook with? I will very occasionally eat zucchini when it's like in things. Like I feel like it's in like hibachi and stuff like that. Um, I actually didn't buy this to cook it. I bought it to make a zucchini bread, which I'll probably do in the next like week or so. We'll see. I'm not going to do it in the next like couple days, but sometime soon I want to make Miss Zucchini bread. Um, some, some bulk espresso beans. This was pretty cheap too. I think this was like three dollars two dollars to refill my jar that i have in the pantry of my espresso beans lastly i got some chicken nuggets i've never tried this brand before but they looked really good jared and i have like midnight snacks where we'll just put a bunch of shit in the air fryer including chicken nuggets pizza rolls french fries the little pizzas that i bought over there and we ran out of chicken nuggets so i had to restock yeah one thing about this camera that i'm definitely getting used to is that i feel like it zooms me in more than my other one because it's heavier so i can't hold it like as far back as easily and i'm probably still staring at the viewfinder over there so sorry if i am but i'm gonna put everything away feed squirtle and make myself something for dinner we do have some leftovers so i think i might do like half leftovers and then make those like peppers maybe mix it in with something and make a little side dish of peppers i was gonna have like a side salad but honestly that just sounds kind of boring <laughs> so i think i'll cook up some veggies to have as a little side dish i'll show you guys that and then i am still gonna make that bread but i probably won't start that uh till like 8 30 or around there like probably a couple hours because i kind of want to take a little chill pill have my dinner relax for a little bit maybe have a glass of wine and then um start baking a little later. Okay guys, I felt like getting crazy tonight. So I just chopped up um, the peppers a little bit so they're just a little smaller. I didn't chop all of them. And then I added some mini bell peppers that I already had in the fridge. And I'm going to try to grill these. I looked up like some recipes for shishito peppers and it said like grilling them or just like a pan fry is all you need, just season oil and that so i'm gonna use my amazing new grill pan i got this from target it's by the brand lodge i'm almost positive and i love it i'll just probably brush it lightly with some oil and i cannot wait to try these i kind of went a little crazy because i read that like they're really good fried so i thought i would add i mean i'm not gonna fry them but i thought i would add some breadcrumbs to give some texture I also did some truffle infused olive oil as you guys saw and then I did a sweet chili sauce just because I thought that would be a good flavor too. I put in some lemon juice, I put on some onion salt, and the very last pretty much of my old everyday seasoning. I think that's everything that I put on these. Stirred it all together, it smells amazing, and hopefully this works. Um, I'm just going to make sure everything's coated and lay them on the grill pan and hope for the best.
these turned out freaking delicious i've already tried like three i feel like i would have wanted to get them a little more charred but i shouldn't have done the breadcrumbs because it kind of set my smoke alarm off and they didn't really stick very well i mean they did kind of stick inside but i think next time i would do no breadcrumbs but everything else i put some uh, sweet chili sauce and some parmesan a little bit of parm on top at the end and then this is some leftover soup it's so 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 good jared and i made this a couple days ago it's a sweet potato tomato bisque it's amazing and i just put some um, seasoning and parm and reheated that i have a little glass of wine dinner for one is served and i'm definitely gonna eat all these peppers they are so freaking good and this was the death of my grill pan <laughs> I definitely should not have done the breadcrumbs since you can see those pretty much charred. But other than that, so good. All right, guys, it is after nine o'clock now and I am not gonna make my bread tonight. So I really don't have the energy. I don't know what I've been doing since I got home at 6.30, but I am exhausted. I've been like cleaning and putting stuff away in here and doing dishes and I don't know, I'm just dead. <laughs> so I don't feel like making the bread tonight, but I will just do it tomorrow. I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night until Jerry gets home from work. <sighs> I'm like exhausted as fuck right now and I just need to like relax and lay down. I don't know why. So I will see you guys tomorrow and pick up the vlog then. Good morning, it's Saturday. I'm having some cinnamon sugar butter toast for breakfast. I don't know why, I was just craving this. I haven't had it in a while. Hi, it's Saturday afternoon now. I am feeling very tired today i feel like i got a deep sleep last night but i don't know if i actually did because i feel just a little out of it and a little bleh today so the only thing i've really done today so far is i went to get my booster shot so i just did that like 45 minutes ago or something like that i wanted to get it done on the weekend um just kind of on like a more relaxed day because i'm kind of assuming that i'm gonna get a little bit sick like later tonight i wasn't necessarily like waiting to get mine but i you guys know i had covid like right around christmas time so um i was right after that i was like okay like i should just like get my booster immediately but apparently you're not not that you're like not supposed to do that i don't want to like advise anyone but basically you can if you had just recently like had covid you can kind of wait like a two or three ish month period before like getting it because you're what's the word you're not like immune but you're like kind of immune for a period of time to getting it again for a few months i just wanted to wait a couple months like after i had it to make sure i was getting it at, like i guess a good time for me so i waited about like exactly two months i guess i don't think i'm going to be feeling anything from that for at least like probably like eight hours or something but i'm just feeling like but today a little out of it i think i just like need caffeine or just like need something to i just need to wake up a little bit i'm drinking a peach green tea you can't see it because it's in my brewmates this is one of my giant brewmates because it's like a 16 ounce can so i used one of my <laughs> my big mama brewmates um and i'm honestly just gonna sit and play the sims on my laptop for a little bit because i've been wanting to play i've been wanting to play lately and i just like haven't set aside any time for it and i feel like today is just going to be like a really chill day at the house i'm going to make my bread this is the life of squirtle here <coughs> you're so big and scary <coughs> okay guys it's a little later now and i'm gonna have some lunch i just really easily heated up a frozen is it a quesadilla it's something this is just a trader joe's vegetable whoa i probably shouldn't have moved it like that quesadilla that you just like reheat and then i made a little side of guac to dip it in because this part can be kind of dry I'm not gonna lie it definitely needs something to like dip it into so hopefully i cooked that long enough it was on there for a while but you never know what the inside because this thing is so freaking thick but yeah very simple lunch today didn't feel like dirtying many dishes all right guys it is time to make some bread together so i haven't made homemade bread in a really long time i definitely fell off from it and i don't know why i guess it just got a little routine and i just got a little lazy with it but it's always so good and i it is kind of like calming to make it anyway um jared's mom got me this book and this special flower which i had never 
heard of this, but it's basically this ancient grain called kamut. I hope I'm not saying it wrong. Like, I mean, that's how I would pronounce it, kamut. So I'm gonna use this today, and this book has tons of recipes. You can read about the kamut grain if you want. I had never heard of it personally, but I'm very excited to try it out. It's supposed to just be like an organic grain, and it makes like a special flour that's supposed to taste better and be better for you from what I understand. So I got this whole bag of flour. I don't know how much is in here. It says five pounds, but I would assume that's like around 10 cups or something like that, but I have a good amount of this flour. And I was looking at the recipes in this book and I wanna make like everything. This book is so up my alley. It's basically all like bread and baked goods. And then there's like some pasta and like desserts and stuff at the end. But yeah, it's basically all like baked goods to make with the flour. So I'm gonna try, oh, it opened right to the page. I'm gonna try to make French bread today. The only thing is she has hers in these baguettes. And I believe like you have to have a baguette pan. I just don't feel confident that I could form these baguettes. Like I've never done that before. I don't feel confident that I could like form the dough into the right shape and size. I think she used a baguette pan and I like looked those up, but I don't want to get one just to like make baguettes. I feel like I don't need that. I can just make like my regular sized loaf. And there's different recipes in here for like just making a loaf. And she says at the bottom of the recipe that you can make this into like anything. So I think I can just make like, you know, a loaf size in my Dutch oven, which is what I would use before. So that's what we're gonna be trying out today and seeing how it goes, cause I've never done this recipe before. So I'm gonna get out all my ingredients. Okay, I had some drama with my yeast because I didn't have enough in the one packet that I had. But then I had other yeast, but it's been in the fridge for a long time. So I had to test it to see if it was still good. And apparently it is. I mean, it bubbled up and it looks like it's gonna work. So we're just gonna try and see. Now I put the bread hook thingy on my, um, sorry, my head's cut off, to my mixer and I'm going to add my flour, salt, remaining sugar, and then the yeast mixture. And then water. Two and a half cups white kabut flour. I honestly think I'm going to definitely have success. I feel like bread is not actually complicated to make. You just have to like, get the measurements right. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Okay. All right, I'm adding in my yeast. I'm I'm hoping for the best because y'all know. If I, this bread messes up, it's the yeast. Okay, let's turn this on. Start slowly mixing together. Okay, I added most of the flour and my dough has turned into a, a lump. <laughs> it just stopped sticking to the sides and it just picked up the rest of the flour that was on the bottom. So I feel like that's good. It's definitely wet and I hate working with this with my nails, but I don't really have any like kitchen gloves besides literally dish gloves, which would not work. So we're just gonna <laughs> do what we always do and uh, wash my nails really hard after, but I'm about to flour. The countertop, I just wiped it. So I'm gonna flour the countertop and roll this baby out. All right, hopefully this is, it's probably was better before I touched it. I gotta do what I gotta do. Also, I don't know where my freaking, okay, yes. Oh, it all came out at once, amazing. Amazing. Okay, let's just get my hands all floury. Okay, I think my dough is actually good. Also, I don't even really know how to knead. I just kind of like fold it and push it. But the dough feels good. Okay, I'm just gonna use the bowl that I was using before. Whenever I did this before, whenever I made bread before, you just use like a teensy, you don't even have to do this, but like a little bit of olive oil. It doesn't stick to the sides. 
My dough looks good. It's small right now, but that should uh, that should rise. Oh, I didn't score it. Um, I actually don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so I have a little pastry cutter, and I don't know if I'm supposed to do this like right before it goes in the oven or now, but the recipe says to do it before you let it rise. So I guess I'll try to just make, should I just make like a little X in the top or something? <laughs> I've actually never scored any of my loaves. And they've always turned out beautiful, but that's what it looks like. I'm liking this better. Okay. I'm putting it back in the bowl. I'm gonna cover it with, I think you do a damp tea towel um, and let this rise for like 15, 20 minutes. Okay guys, I let my dough rise actually for about an hour because I realized that's how long I used to do it when I would make a loaf this size and the um, recipe was for like pretty small baguettes. Like it was like this, but in a fourth um, for each baguette. So I, so I figured probably just better to let it rise a little longer than not long enough, you know what I mean? So now I'm going to put it in my Dutch oven, which was just in the oven, it's really hot. Um, that's a tip that I used to use that this recipe didn't call for, but I figured I would just do it so this is really warm and I'm gonna put the bread directly in it and bake it. I don't know how long I'm gonna bake it, but I'm gonna, just gonna watch it and see how it does. My scoring came out, so I think I'm gonna try and redo that. All right, I'm hoping for the best. She's going in. It's not perfectly round because I kind of wanted to make it a little bit longer here, but I think it's going to turn out great. So we're just going to put it in the oven and I think I'm going to put it in the oven for like about 30 minutes and check it and we will see. Ladies and gentlemen, her. I just took this out of the oven. I had it going for a few more minutes, but I'm glad I took it out. I think I baked it for... A little less than 35 minutes she's so cute I mean it honestly kind of looks like one of the loaves I used to make I feel like it's just gonna taste a little different because I used the Kamut Kamut <laughs> oh god I don't remember how I said it <laughs> the different flour and the recipe said you can brush this with a little bit of butter when it comes out of the oven and I've never really done that before and I feel like it would be really yummy to do that to my bread so I'm going to and I'll let this cool and I will sample in probably like a little over an hour just when it cools off a bit. But it looks like it was definitely a success and she's pretty. She's cute. It looks crusty AF, which is what you want in a French bread. So, so far, I think I'm happy with my loaf. Hey, it's me again. I feel like I haven't shown my face vlogging in the past like six hours or something. So hi. I have a little zit sticker on right here if you can tell. I, don't, I bet you can pick it. I bet the camera is picking it up. I'm working on a little chin guy right here that came up from period. But it is almost eight o'clock now. I'm like, where, I feel like I said this yesterday, but like, where did the day go? I don't know. It was a good day though. It was just like a relaxed day at home, baked a loaf of bread. I did some stuff around the house. Like I like watered some plants and did some like cleaning and tidying. I did like, well, laundry for the sheets and put those back on the bed. I didn't film that stuff, but just kind of like routine things. Well, I'm gonna have some dinner because it is eight o'clock. I just tried the bread. I let it cool for like, like around an hour. I think, yeah, I think around an hour. And I really, really like it. This is how she looks. I feel like it really looks different than the French bread I've made before. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. It has like a light little bit of sweetness. So I'll put the recipe that I used in this book down below. Uh, I'm guessing I can probably find it online. I just heated up some soup for dinner. It looks really small, but I only wanted like a little side of soup to dip my cheesy, toasty garlic bread in. Look how perfect this looks. Like I feel like I charred the cheese just right. I just took a piece of bread, put some butter, and garlic on it. And then I put cheese, a few cherry tomatoes, red pepper, and a little bit of like olive oil. I put it in the air fryer for I think like seven minutes. And this is basically what I call a cheese toasty. It's kind of like a not so intense slash heavy grilled cheese. But when I want like cheese and bread together, this is what I make and it's really, really good. And I always make it to dip in soup. This was really hot, so 
Okay, it's a little better now. Don't burn yourself, Lindsay. Um, it doesn't look like that much soup, but I'm, it kind of is though. Like, I don't need a whole giant thing of soup tonight. So we just reheated some of the same soup from last night. I didn't feel like really cooking tonight after I made the bread. I'm just kind of like exhausted. So this is what I'm gonna have. I'm sitting over here playing The Sims and um, watching YouTube. I might vlog a little more tonight, but I'm just gonna play The Sims and I'm kind of expecting to feel, you know, kind of shitty tonight. So hopefully by the morning I will be like feeling good or at least like 24 hours after my appointment, hopefully, because Jared and I wanna like hang tomorrow because Sundays are like some of the only days he has off. So I'm not too worried about it. I do like expect to feel sick. I probably won't like vlog. It's gonna be a chill night. I really think I'm just gonna like catch up on YouTube and play The Sims until Jared gets home from work and then just probably like maybe watch a movie or something, just, you know, a winter night in. But it was a good day um, and I will definitely pick up the vlog tomorrow if I don't record any more tonight. And I need to eat this delicious cheese toast. Hi guys, it's Monday now. I didn't end up vlogging yesterday. I don't know why. I think it was just like, I wanted to have a whole day with Jared and not that like he cares if I vlog with him. I just, I guess I just, I just didn't vlog. I don't know. As for like my booster and stuff, I actually felt fine like up until I was going to sleep. So like after 12 hours later, when I was falling asleep on Saturday night, I kind of had the chills for a little bit. I didn't feel like fevery. I just kind of felt like cold and I couldn't get warm. And then I slept really, really badly. I don't particularly know why, but I kept waking up literally every like 20 or 30 minutes the entire night. So I slept horribly. <laughs> I think I was pretty exhausted yesterday. My arm still feels a little bit weird um over 48 hours later which is a little strange but i know that it'll go back to normal pretty soon like i'm planning on working out tonight and stuff i don't want to like stop my life for longer than like two days because of a shot anyway i think i'm going to end this vlog now because i want to get it up for you guys and it was over 30 minutes long i feel like i didn't do that much in this vlog but it was still like a chill relaxing vlog so i hope you guys still liked it in my next vlog or two i'll try to like include a little more stuff but just honestly like in the winter i've told you guys i just like don't do that much stuff don't really go out that much and but i still love vlogging for you guys even when i'm just chilling at the house so i hope you guys like this if you made it until the end and you liked this relaxed chill vlog give it a thumbs up to let me know comment down below i love chatting with you guys in the comments it really means a lot to me whenever you guys do comment on one of my videos i read all of them and I just love you guys. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys very soon in another video.